to get a penalty like that. A lot of that's purely just being that ready to go, being that crazy, and losing track of time. Maybe doesn't have a whole lot of space. Cooper Edmiston, second down and 14. Maybe decides to keep. It's wrapped up and brought Maybe down on the tail of that defensive tackle, trying to clog those B gaps, the second gap on the offense. Third down has been difficult for Navy this year. The later pitch blown up. My specials might be feeling those butterflies. Two so far for 20 yards, which is really out of character to start a game on this. And the first fullback look. They go right 105 from the fullbacks last week against UCF. The best showing from the position of the season. Mike Martin got a good chunk of those yards, who's been the third fullback most of the year. Second down, the fake to Gargiulo. No, that is to Gargiulo, and he carries a couple of goals. 10 to 11 men, most games that have been banged up since about the midway point of this year. To the fullback, Gargiulo again, will head man. And if this looks a little different to you, you watched Navy games before, the seniors voted for this blue jersey, blue pant look. It does look different. Nelson Smith is different. He's in at fullback. Maybe following solid run by inside linebackers have scraped right off the backside of those defensive tackles and have met the quarterback in the hole. And they're crowding that box again. And Smith, the defensive coordinator in Tulsa, they're coming out in this four man line. Some of the adjustments you'll see are on the blocking side for Navy. Design toss look here. Taj Malloy with a block from Perry. Doesn't quite hold. Malloy gets guided out of bounds with help from Cooper. Urgency. In fact, if you wanted to take a shot with a play action, this would be the down you'd do it on. Navy's averaging about four and a half yards per carry. AB tries it on the keeper. Ingram, who mentors the run game and that offensive line. AB barking out commands. Play clock down to four. The fake to Gargiulo. AB tries to cut it up and runs into a few golden. Eight of things you can do differently in this offense that everyone looks at as being so simplistic. It's one of the chess matches here today. Gargiulo, more of a bulldoze run. It's college coaching on the defensive side. And he'll do something different. I think what he's done today is come out in kind of an odd gap look with some pretty good size inside. Needing a yard. AB, he's got it. And more. A.B. picked up and hopping on one foot is that way. I've always found it kind of hard to run with two. Yeah. You see still shots of me in the booth. You figure that out too. Nelson Smith in the bunch and he bursts off for a touchdown. On to both of his siblings weddings and no surprise here both chose and were assigned a Marine ground after graduation guys. Appreciate that. So it was Zach A.B. who shows that he can throw this ball some this 2002 season. Won its opener lost 10 straight. Then beat Army in Paul Johnson's first year as the head man. Fullback plow by Gargiulo. Eye that puts a little panic on the other sideline when you've always got the ball. Steve Satchel in here at right guard. Ryan Barrett playing at left tackle. Nelson Smith squirts on through. Man's in there too. Has not helped things for this football team when you start going back. Toss to Malcolm Perry. A lot of big blocks in front of him. Perry runs and he's returned to that spot, converted back from quarterback. It deepens it all the more. Nelson Smith baffled everyone. Two scores of the day. That Alabama locker room by Nick Saban. And what a thriller. Ohio State, Maryland, a Terps team gave him a big scare. Headset spike for Urban Meyer, survive in overtime. Mike Martin, the fullback carry. Ahead, you just keep running and do what you do. And that makes the other side start thinking, maybe I gotta take a chance. Maybe I gotta take a shot. Fake to Martin. A.B. into Blankenship's club. That's gotta start thinking about throwing the ball. And that's right where most defenses want things. Third and two, Navy staying in its own character. Flag down. 11 plus line here. It's a bit of a tough spot for Navy. Navy with the seam and a whiff on the initial zone when he was more of a wide receiver in the early stage of the campaign. Here he hands to Gargiulo and the captain. Second effort inside of the good chunk of last year with a separated shoulder. 
part of the issue for his turnover problems a year ago. Perfect on third and short today, needing a yard. A.B. goes in. Touchdown, Mitch Shepard. Though there's no holding in there. Hands never left the chest of the, the defender. Clean look, not so clean offensively for Zach Amy. This is just about doing your individual job. Amy off the fullback fake, keeps, gets a big block. And Amy's got the things out. Keep in mind, Woods, 6'4, 290. His service assignment is going to be a pilot. A lot of silence in his future. Anthony from there. Well, Zach Abey, solid second half against UCF. Nelson Smith right into Stevens, nearly blocked by the same man, Reggie Robinson. They've rotated heavily at fullback. Mike Martin is back in. Motion from Perry. Abey, a little bit of pause and patience, and he gets the block from Martin. The probing reach, a bunch of court. It's a lot of fun. Abey. Flips it late. C.J. Williams, that might have been forward. Go forward. It's up to the stats folks as to whether they qualify that as a pass or a run because it wasn't downfield. Maybe not all that's allowed. A lot of chunk yards. That's part of my design of their usual defense. They've been more of a three down lineman team on the year. You can see they've changed that against the triple option today. Satchel remains in that right guard spot. A.B. needing three. Drives in a bunch, and he's got Until the safety comes up to make that tackle on A.B. A.B. hasn't had a 100-yard rushing day since Central Florida mid-October of last year. What great. Perry hasn't had a ton of touches today. Has been used in the return game. Perry in motion. On kill, there's Perry. Edmiston angles it. Tulsa only armed with one timeout. Maybe. Physical. So with the ball at the two, maybe over the century mark. Maybe. Standing up, touchdown. Perry motions. And A.B. puts a ball. And the midshipman now plus seven in turnover margin. Yeah, Pittman did a great job ripping that thing out there. Zach A.B. gets a little bit of brief fumbles all of last year. Now the most turnovers in the American. It was a heck of a drive. Good heads up on the leadership from the young quarterback. A.B. without a lot of space. Tulsa has this one. Fleshed out forward. Touchdown or field goal results from getting this kind of field position. A rare third and long for Navy today. Navy the late pitch. Well timed to Perry. And they'll get the first and more. Perry with escorts. Third and nine. Quarterback and it very, very accurate too besides that. And that's a thousand yards for Malcolm Perry. Back to back years on the ground. Trey Walker. Defenders falling all over Reggie. What the running back C.J. Williams does down the field with his great block. Maybe. Continues to grind that rugby-like run into the chances for a lot of these Navy players. What a turnabout. Long drive by Tulsa. Fumble the ball down on the one. And then you're going to drive the ball back at him like this? This can be just a soul crusher for an opponent. Of one really important thing, and that's finishing. Finishing drives, finishing halves, finishing games. The pitch, Perry. He sparked it with his third and nine run. Any quarter. Well, against this style of offense, this can be deadly. Keep watching the clock. That's what this is all about. They won't snap till they get under five. Maybe. Brought down by Winfrey. Philip Montgomery said he's getting better, but it's it's maybe not at the rate that you want him to improve. Maybe held that one out. Ball right into the clutches of Tulsa at the exchange. Couch time, too, for the season Tulsa's had. Especially in fourth quarters on the year for Philip Montgomery. And the 
a run for Gargiulo into. Well, Phil Montgomery told Amanda Balionis on the sideline, we got to, you know, get behind the chains or keep them behind the chains. The staff and his head coach know about it. And Philip Montgomery calls him one of the greatest leaders on this Tulsa team. And pain for the young man there. A.B. right on the heels. Bobbled. Nearly picked. No turnovers in the first half. At three in the third quarter alone. Gargiulo. Now the fullbacks have had a big bet. Seven third down tries of one to four yards. Well, there'll be a third and a fourth if they don't get it. Gargiulo. Staggered steps, David Collins. Which is between the tackles. Why do anything different? Everyone tight. A.B. keeps, and A.B.'s got it. First down, Navy. Snap this thing before five seconds on the play clock. Gargiulo, the senior captain, who has talked about the play to Lehigh in the FCS ranks on the 15th of September. Nothing's harder than losing when you really aren't used to it. A.B. later pitch to Perry. And Bunch, again, a good job in the offensive line and his feel on the outside with the pitch were the two biggest improvements I've seen in this team this year. A.B. The pitch. Trey Walker off to the races. Touchdown, Navy. Getting those turnovers into schools. Tackle the ball in this instance. A.B. Finds a space, shields against Bunch, Edmiston. Second and four. A.B. working that clock, the senior. Gargiulo trying to shield the football against Blankenship. He's got that big frame, six foot, 281. Not a four down situation. Stop him here, you get the ball back. Perry motions. Navy behind Gargiulo on that left side. Edmiston is there. Where's the sitter using timeouts? Well, I mean, they, they've got a couple still in their quiver. I think if this first down play is successful, you're going to see a timeout. Gargiulo gets about three. They've needed some extra grease for the offensive times this year. But one of Navy's better days offensively. Gargiulo. The captain gets another carry. Zabin Collins. But it's a great indication of things to come, especially with the Army Navy coming up in two weeks. Apologies, some audio difficulties. We're aware and working on it. Malcolm Perry, after the timeout, gets the first coach. Because he's had a team that has made some mistakes in the past in these kind of situations. Maybe. Knocked down. 